Hello and welcome to my video outlining the second week of uh, Primera Space Marine releases. Firstly, let's talk about what's just been released, what's come out this weekend. So what's been up for this weekend's new releases is the is the new Codex Adeptus Astartes uh, Space Marines book. Also, you can get a Primaris edition of the Codex and you can also get a Collector's Edition. Now the normal Codex is £30, Collector's is 50 and then the Primaris Edition is a whopping £150. Um, but I talked about those last week. Also released this week is the new Primaris Redemptor Dreadnought. It's the biggest Dreadnought Games Workshop I've ever made, not including the Forge World's uh, Telemon Dreadnought and it is slightly bigger than a Leviathan Dreadnought. And the Redemptor Dreadnought is uh, £40. Which isn't too bad considering a Contemptor, which is a fair bit smaller, is 35. Then they've released the Space Marine Aggressors, three Space Marines in Gravis armor. You've got uh, a few options. You can give them Bolt Storm or Flame Storm gauntlets, and you can give them the Frag launchers or not. They're not missile launchers, which is what I originally sort of thought. And that's not too bad at 30 pounds as well. Then finally, you get uh, Batman's Army, or should I say, the Primaris Re Reavers that have a whole host of options. Loads of uh, these bolt carbines which are these sort of stubbier uh, bolt guns with the foregrip and also you can give them heavy bolt pistols combat knives and the uh, sort of like the batman's grappling hook uh, type gun okay and now for this week's releases up for pre-order firstly we have the coolest looking model in my opinion the games workshop released for a long time and that is the space marine primaris chaplain i mean just look how cool this model looks he's got this staff or rod of authority um he's got these sort of rib cage where his armor is he's he's got this cloak and he's got this uh absolver uh heavy bolt pistol um that's what they're calling it um i thought that you could equip him with a plasma pistol and that would be cool but uh, i guess not he's going to set you back 22 pound 50 which is sort of what i expected um it pulls him in line with the uh, librarian and the captain um, two that they released a couple of weeks ago um, then we have the Primaris Apothecary again it's £22.50 uh, this model does look really cool though again and it looks like he's clutching uh, a freshly hewn organ uh, maybe it's it's the progenitor gland who knows but uh, it just reminds me of Half-Life when you control the uh, sand lions and you squeeze that little grenade thing and um, that's just what it reminds it makes that funny squeaking noise just reminds me of that or the little squeaking pig off of uh, the film snatch and um, that that's what that's what that little thing reminds me of but fear not uh you you don't have to have him without a helmet it comes with a helmet too whereas i think the chaplain has to only have the helmet and then finally we get to the space marine tank that's been hit with the ugly stick people love it people hate it once you think it looks like it's got ski shoes on or you know um skis on you can't really not see that about the model it looks like a land raider but with the grav gravitational uh, plates some would say and argue that it's the only vehicle that can transport primary space marines uh, no the, Th the thunderhawk can can carry primary space marines it's detailed in the uh index book but um for the moment the only sort of you know games workshop uh you know plastic miniature that can do that is is this new uh repulsor tank and it's written into the novel and you know, it's, I think it's a flying vehicle as well. Uh, that's what they've sort of labelled it as. It's certainly got a lot of weapons, um, similar sort of armour as a as a Land Raider. Yeah, it's got a plethora of weapons and, and things that are going on. Um, and yeah, it's your, your main go-to for, for transporting those Primaris Marines now. Other than the Overlord, uh, you know, transport gunship thing. Uh, well, I had one person uh, talk to me about that. A while ago on Instagram and I've only just finished reading the Dark Imperium book so I wasn't really sure what that was it's not you know advertised much on the internet but it's a huge flyer uh, I highly highly doubt uh, that Games Workshop will will build one Forge World might build one it's it's bigger than a Thunderhawk for one um, I think it can carry about 40 primary space marines um, a little bit like a Sastus Ram a little bit like a Black Star flyer with the two uh, transport bays underneath its wings but it's got uh, the three-barreled melter weapon at the front it's got these ridiculous 
heavy las cannon batteries on its wings um it makes thunderhawks look like toys uh, that's what the novel describes it as but it's, it's this huge flyer bigger than thunderhawks and it can carry these these 40 primary space marines in so i don't think we'll see that anytime soon i i really don't but yeah going back to the repulsor it's 50 pounds a lot of money it's now i say the most expensive it sort of is the most expensive model out there for space marines um, alongside the Storm Raven, which is 50, and then you've got the Centurions at 47 pound 50, and then you've got Land Raiders at 45, and and so on. Um, so it's an expensive tank. When I first saw it, I was expecting 40 pounds. For me, it didn't look like it was as big as a Land Raider. It doesn't have the tracks. I know it has the plates, but it doesn't have the tracks, um, and so on. I just didn't think that it would be as big as a Land Raider or uh be as good as a land raider but they've set it at 50 uh so it's more expensive than a land raider so but we'll just have to wait and see af- over the next few months whether it just does actually perform as as well because it's not out yet and people will be getting their hands on it um uh next weekend uh it's important to note that you can get a bundle with all three of the new releases next weekend uh for 95 pounds which doesn't save you any money it's just a repulsor and then the apothecary and the chaplain okay now let's look forward uh to see what other releases uh are yet to be announced ready for pre-order and to me it feels quite odd being in this uh stage where we've got the last white dwarf only showed the first strike uh box sets and the uh captain and the librarian and the you know the small starter sets and the easy to build uh box sets so it's really odd to be in a position where We sort of know what's coming out, um, but we haven't been told it sort of officially in terms of through through a White Dwarf or anything like that. The White Dwarf is due to hit next weekend as well as these uh, three new releases. Um, So no doubt there'll be all of these advertised in there and hopefully the, the other releases. And then September's White Dwarf might explain either the Grey Knights releases or the uh, the new Death Guard that are coming out because we've been waiting months and months for the new Death Guard uh, models. So yeah, it's an odd it's an odd time to not have a White Dwarf explaining or or showing us what the the new pre-orders will be. We've gone past that stage, so the White Dwarf next week will have uh, you know things like the Codex and the Dreadnought and uh, the Aggressors things like that. So the models left to be released. Uh, it looks like I'm hoping that it's a ten man intercessor box like the reavers i'm hoping that's the case and i'm hoping it's 30 pounds if they set it at 35 i think that might be a a bit too much just because they've set the precedent as for the reavers so a box set of 10 intercessors possibly and then either a box of five or a box of 10 hellblasters and finally a box of three inceptors which again probably be 30 or 35 pounds um, for the three and then you've got the options for these um you know for the plasma weapons as well as the the assault bolters so they're the the releases yet to come and after those three sets i think that's all of the the range sort of covered other than the the huge flyer but we, we don't know if and when that is ever going to sort of be released i'm going to try and have this as like a regular thing if it's sort of 40k related so next weekend when the other models for the Primaris Marines are announced I'll do another video and likewise for the Death Guard, Grey Knights, uh, Chaos Space Marines, um, Astra Militarum and things like that. I'll try and do one of these videos uh, every week just just because I, lo- I look at the numbers and I look at um, the views for videos and uh, this last pre-order video got over 5,000 views um, and that's quite a lot. I mean it's double or triple uh, what my unboxings and reviews get so I'll use that as a measuring stick and try and give you these kind of videos more often anyway what are you looking forward to that's yet to be released Mortarian, Typhus who knows um, put it in the comments below as always thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching The Emperor Protects